Tao overflows. Enlightenment, a unique phenomena. Enlightenment is a unique phenomena. I call it a unique phenomena for various reasons. After that, one who has realized this phenomena surrounding him like an unexplainable yet without any source, fragrance, beauty and all that cannot be put in words. He has realized something that is beyond words. What he has realized cannot be put in words. Words and language is dualistic communication. He knows what he wants to commune need no language. It is a silent communion. Therefore, he overflows silent gestures to pronounce aesthetic beauty and the message of innerness. As regards enlightenment, you have to remember certain things. Buddha cannot and will not say, Now I am deathless. Because death has disappeared so completely that even deathlessness is cannot be felt. The duality of deathless and deathlessness has vanished. If the misery has disappeared so completely, how can you feel blissful? Mind can understand things only in contrast. On a blackboard, when something is written in white color, can be understood. If the noise and anguish are so absolutely non-existent, how can you feel silence? All these experiences and feelings are related to their opposite. Without their opposite, they cannot be felt. If darkness disappears completely, can you feel or no light? It is impossible. You cannot say there is light. Remember, even hot water is still water. So even if you become more clear in your mind, more pure in your perception, more moral, more centered, you are still man, not a Buddha, not an enlightened, not an enlightened one. You become more silent, more still and calmer. You feel a deep bliss, but you are still a man and your feelings are really negative, not positive because you feel more calm. When it happens, you will not feel calmness, you will not even feel blissful, you will not feel silent because these attributes are related to their opposite. Just as without the blackboard, blackboard and white color are related to one another. One makes the presence of the other felt. If on a blackboard you write with a black, in black color, it will not be visible. A contrast is needed. When you are tense, you can feel silence. When you feel noise, you can feel stillness. When you are divided, fragmentary, you can feel oneness. 
when you are suffering anguish you can feel bliss that is why buddha was silent because language cannot now express that which is beyond polarities he cannot say now i am filled with bliss because even this feeling that now i am filled with bliss is possible only with the background of suffering and anguish you can feel health only with the background of illness and disease you can feel life only with the background of death if death has become absent for you you are beyond life and death both buddha cannot and will not say that now i am deathless because death has disappeared so completely that even deathlessness cannot be felt if the misery has disappeared so completely how can you feel blissful mind can understand things only in contrast on a blackboard when something is written in white color it can be understood buddha cannot say i have become light he cannot say now i am filled with light if he says such things we will say he is not yet a buddha he cannot utter such things darkness must be there if you want to feel light death must be there if you want to feel deathlessness you cannot avoid the opposite it is a basic necessity for any experience to exist buddhahood enlightenment is not an experience it is the end of experience and when all the entire process of experiencing vanishes dissolves realization dawns it is a dawn of new awakening so what is buddha's experience whatsoever we know it is not that it is neither negative nor positive neither this nor that and whatsoever can be expressed is not that that is why lao tse insists so much that truth cannot be said and the moment you say it you have falsified it already it is untrue truth cannot be said because of this it cannot be divided into polar opposites and language is meaningful only with polar opposites and in the absence of polar opposites language becomes meaningless without the contrary language loses all meaning that is what is the problem with buddhas they have to use your language and all that they want to express or commune cannot be put in words this you have to understand so there is a tradition saying that enlightenment is gradual but the tradition is not really the truth it is just half truth uttered in comparison uttered in compassion for human minds the because of the compassion for the human mind it is said that enlightenment is gradual 
enlightenment is certain and it cannot be otherwise it is a jump it is a quantum leap it is discontinuity from your past try to understand this if something is gradual the past goes on remaining in it if something is gradual then there is a continuity without any gap if from ignorance to knowledge there is a gradual growth the ignorance cannot become ignorance cannot completely disappear it will remain it will continue because there has been no discontinuity there has been no gap day and night are continuity so the ignorance may become more polished the ignorance may become more knowledgeable the ignorance may appear wise but it is still there the more polished it is then of course the more dangerous it will become the more knowledgeable it is then the more cunning one is and the more capable of deceiving oneself enlightenment and ignorance are absolutely separate both are discontinuous a jump is needed it is a jump in which the past dissolves completely the old is gone it is no more and the new has appeared which has never been there before buddha is reported to have said i have i am not that one who was seeking the one who has appeared now never was before this looks ab absurd and illogical but it is so it is so buddha says i am not he who was seeking i am not he who was desiring enlightenment i am not he who was ignorant the old man is dead completely i am a new one i never existed in that old man there has been a gap the old has died and the new is born for the mind to conceive of this is difficult how can you conceive of it how can you conceive of a gap something must continue how can something disappear completely and something new appear he has he was absurd for logical minds he was absurd for scientific minds just two decades before but now for science it is not absurd now they say deep down in the atom electron appear and disappear and they take jumps from one point the electron takes a jump to another in between the two is not it appears at a point a and then disappears and reappears at point b and within the gap it is no more it is not there it has become absolutely silent if this is so it means that non existence is also a sort of existence it is difficult to conceive of but it is so non existence is also a sort of existence it is as if something moves from the visible to invisible as if something moves from form to formlessness enough for now